A $105 million National Science Foundation grant is putting Purdue at the center of a hub of universities conducting earthquake safety research. Purdue will create the cyber infrastructure that will connect all 14 members of the Network for Earthquake Engineering Simulation. Simply speaking, what we have to do is to make the sum greater than the parts by becoming the headquarters that manages these 15 sites. Actually, the money will flow through Purdue to these sites. Earthquakes have killed nearly half a million people in the last decade alone. Where I want to be five years is where this network can do the best to mitigate risk associated with earthquakes, save lives, reduce economic uh, loss. Most important, I think I would, I would like to see this net network as a collaboratory, a place where people um, do research together, where they educate, where they train, uh, where we actually impact uh, practice. Purdue will use its Hub Zero technology and the National Science Foundation's TerraGrid to make it easier to share earthquake research data. So all these experiments produce a lot of data that comes from sensor that they apply to buildings, for example, when they shake a building on some big shake table. Um, so we collect that data, store it, make it available to others who may not own such equipment so that others can actually take advantage of that national infrastructure as well. The project also focuses on education and outreach. The Nice Academy will use cyber education tools to develop interest in science, technology, engineering and math among young students. These tools will also be used to disseminate the latest earthquake safety discoveries to researchers internationally. What we're doing in this uh, um, operation is to manage uh, the resources of the nation, physical and human, so that those new things that we see, we understand them and we do improvements so that they won't happen again. The United States has invested almost $300 million in earthquake safety research. More than 100 research projects are underway. Purdue's Julio Ramirez says even relatively new and prosperous cities like Los Angeles remain threatened by earthquakes. And even though we know more about earthquakes today than we did before, um, many of those buildings are still, that were built before uh, modern codes, let's say, of construction uh, that are vulnerable, right? At Purdue University, I'm Jim Shank.